Hello there, and welcome back to Cory Loses for the continuation of our Revan's Revenge 0.4 preview playthrough as the Sith Empire. In the last episode, we took out Quirmia and we took out Tula. So we're causing some problems for the Mandalorians over in this region of space. Uh, but I'm actually a little curious what ended up spawning for the Hutt. So they, right now, they don't have any of their own units done for this era. We have a couple assets done. Uh, so they're pulling from the Republic spawn sets i believe but i'm curious how much they have because i think it's probably a lot that looks like a lot that's definitely a lot 33 hammerheads 19 forays so we'll kill them at some point but not not anytime soon uh we are building our way towards being able to attack some of the scarier Mandalorian planets in this area. And I think a couple pro droids are worth it for that. Complete. Yeah, we've got the other Centurion coming in here. Mandalorians have taken Concord Dawn. So it's not the one-sided fight in the rest of the galaxy that I was afraid of. Or not afraid of, that I was expecting. I wasn't really afraid of it. Uh, so if we have this fleet so packed up, yeah, that's, that's good. We're 30 over, so I'm just going to move these guys out that way. Because we're going to start building up another fleet on Lukazek. That's going to be our, our next plan. Uh, I'll let that roll over so that we can get another Centurion on Korriban. So we are getting... The world over heaven. You are getting a tax agency. And we're going to see what they have on these planets. They really have. That's three Candoses. That's a Candosi and two Kiramids. And that is a Kir. Okay, that's the one that I'd want to fight. Oh, hello. Um, okay. Uh, I was thinking they wouldn't actually go for that. Of course they would. Uh, you know what? With a grand, I think I'm going to be able to try to do something on this. There's no field bases, which can work in both directions for us right now. Adding to coordinates. Trust our orders and you will be rewarded. So, yeah, if I just, I mean, if I don't, there's no field bases, I'm just going to sit here. Turret constructing. My time to shine. Move. Basilisks. Move. Select. Hmm. We secured a build pad. Turret constructing. Basilisks might fly in first. Complete. The capturables are turbo lasers, which would be good for defense. But... Oops. Okay. Oh, these are just the bikes. Which our Slayer should be able to handle the craft gifts. The infantry are all dead from them, though. So they did their job. Ready for command, sir. Okay, do we have any infantry here? Let's see if we can get to, to those. So they had, I think, like four companies that we could see, which means probably those four companies plus a an infantry company. Look at the white bantha again. That skin. A doctor should probably look at that. Turret constructing. Construction complete. Okay, let's, uh... Oh, there's a Brogdon. Got the turret with us. I wonder if our structure had completed before they sent the attack. Get you out of there. Who's Wookiees burn? Why are we burning Wookiees? 
Okay, well, I'm going to see if I can drop them on top of one of the turrets. I don't want to spend too much more money. That was helpful. Oh, hello. Uh, that's a brawl. Ooh, that's that's the scariest. Can you shoot those? All right, let's uh, let's see if we can get the Slayer back. They wanted that one. No, that's down. This is the most complained about voice actor. I mean, people probably complain about the pronunciation of Architens a lot. We might finally but... get a promotion. No melee units? Just think even though you're a vehicle turret, you should be able to kill those. Your accuracy was not great there. But we got it. We held it. I think you... I mean... I think it's best if we send these guys over. We've got perfect vision right now. There, we'll just get rid of the brawl. Dreadnought crews are ready. Moving. And we are building this fleet at Lukasek. Dreadnought crews are ready. All ahead. So if we can get a Corbon Corvette, so let's get small but mighty. The Corona and Quasar is one of devs. Beginning construction. Tula, you can get a mine. Quermia, you can get a mine. Constructing. Beginning construction. Uh, so the assumption is always that the person doing the Corona and Quasar voice is putting on an accent. That's their real voice. That's 100% them just talking like a normal person. It's not a southern accent, they're from California. So, I'm gonna get careful, I bruise easy. Iron Hand, a drum and cast can come back. Actually, I've already used that one, so I'll hold off on that. Floor model, no warranty, I don't think I've used that one. Shout out to Mech Warrior. So they're all going to be building on the planet directly, which makes it very convenient. And Anaxilla... Let's get more of these Daraphins out. So Temparis, hope you like missile damage. I do like missile damage. Malik's Mandible. So I'm going to lose that one. That one does not do well in this period. Holy Sith. And... Corybon Corvette. Okay, like all here is still it's it's what I want in my life. But are we gonna be able to get through three I might actually be able to do that. Like we have the double centurion. We have about two fifty pop on that, just over. Yeah, let's uh let's see if we can drop some candoses. Or frames. Choose your reinforcements. Right, I think if we put you guys over here, moving. Hyperion and Varco. I mean, the, the travel time is going to be a thing. But Razor Leaf. Ooh, that's actually not good. Captain here. Dreadnought crews 
troops are ready. Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna retreat and I'm gonna jump in a bit closer. I might need to do some HV tuning, because if these are the, the most powerful agents in the game, they're getting knocked out in like three or four shots. I'm gonna struggle with that for the rest of it. So yeah, before I go in on those too much, I, I probably do need to, to tune it down. I am thinking about taking out Quelly. I wonder if Ares would actually want to be attacked. In production. Building under construction. Ready. Uh, is that yeah? That's the first of our centurions for that one. Gonna say over there. I don't know if I need to hold the Lukasek fleet there. I think I'm actually gonna move these guys back to Yavin and see if we can get Ares. Yeah, let's do that. We'll attack there once we have this guy. There's, ooh, there's a different Jedi there now. Juhani's one of the newer models that I made. And we've never shown off the Coruscant Courier. They have a hypervelocity gun, but they don't have a lot in orbit, so that kind of works out perfectly for us. All right, let's uh, let's go in there, and I'll still bring Malak over for this one. I know one of the testers will be excited to see that the see the Coruscant Courier, the Republic's kind of Corvette unit here, is in. The nice thing about it is it always looks like it's turning. Okay, World Over Heaven. I'm going to drop you behind there. Two for flinching. The Claw. I'm going to keep them on the side. Four model. Shields are down. Shout out to Mech Warrior. And we'll have the missile section with Holy Sith, Calliope, Temparis, Alex Mandible, the Zyost, and Careful Ivory is easy. That might be a little bit too far over. Trubon Corvette, Small but Mighty, Sith Spit, and Hamilton's Memory will help us with the fighters. And, yeah, let's try to take out the hammerhead there. Okay, you guys are getting just absolutely fucked. The Golans are going to be the one of the biggest outstanding balance issues in space right now. Well, they've had, I think they've had like their stats have, but they still aren't technically designed to fit within this this meta. Uh, like this fleet has all of the Republic's smallest ships, but I wouldn't necessarily say as a faction they are smaller on average because like. They have the biggest ship in the game, too, which does throw off that average, and the Swift Shooter is like 900 meters. So they have a pretty good distribution. Right, got those ones. Got these ones. Then can we get you guys back in to do some, some firing? Choose your reinforcements. Dreadnought crews are ready. All guns, fire! Firing turbo releases. Heavy cruisers. Okay, don't go too far in. It's gonna be another shot Captain onto here. you. Fire yeah, I effect. think that's gonna be three or four. Roger that. Changing course to intercept. Dreadnought crews are ready. All guns, fire! Heavy fire. cruisers standing by. 
firing turbo lasers. I'm gonna try to get everyone closer to the heart. Guys reporting in. Open fire. Orders, sir. Dreadnought cruiser ready. Okay, let's go for medium duel. Okay, the weapons are mostly dead on this side, and that is what I'm aiming for. As long as the, as long as these aren't still up by the time the next HV gunshot happens, then we're probably safe. And you guys, if you have any missiles left, get in there so you can shoot them. Many of you took a lot of damage, and I should expect some, some lasting psychological damage from that too. Shot. That's number three. What's that gonna do to the world over heaven? Okay, it's fine. I don't know if that'll if that'd last through a fourth. I don't really want to find out right now. If it was anything else taking those shots right now, that would be that would be bad. That would not be good. Dreadnought cruiser ready. Firing turbo lasers. Heavy cruiser standing by. Fire for effect. Alright. Those are gone. So we lost Calliope, Cory Ben Corvette, and Temparis. Not the worst. Uh, yeah, I don't know where to put most of you right now. I guess if I have a higher station level and an ion cannon there, that's going to hold them off. They have the larger ships. It's not like they have a lot of the larger ships right now. Let's get Temparis, Dagger of Zios, Rapture. I guess I, I did just use Temparis, so I'll rebuild it just in a second. Silurian Shacopoid. Uh, what was that? Silurian Shacopoid, Shacopid Trilobites. That's the, okay. Black Knight, Darth Hedgehog. And, ooh, I don't want to, uh, I mean, maybe I do want to fight Juhani and Vandar. Vandar is just using Yoda's model right now, for reasons you can probably guess. But Juhani has a fancy new kit bash that I did show off in the Admiral's Lounge previews. Niyak Nyash Seta. His midichlorian count is off the charts. Harbinger. Confalc from the future. And... Stop the Rot. The light really interacts weirdly with this. But yeah, let's go... I it's been a while since I've done a, a new head model from scratch. Like I did a good chunk of the uh, Father Republic Jedi, like Dooku, Kit Fisto. But for Revenge Revenge and for other infantry models recently, I've just been modifying existing stuff to make their faces look more like their other faces, which long term. Some of them might get replaced, but infantry models are a hard and limited resource. So other than when Sky wants to do like 50 at once, we kind of just got to do what we can and then hope for the best. I try to avoid doing just like straight placeholders of like putting someone with someone else's model, which is like it's done in a few places. But I tend to prefer to wait until we have the actual asset for whatever it is done, unless there's like something that really needs to be worked on beforehand. Like with missions, uh, rather than waiting until uh, every possible asset is done, we're more likely to just use the just full-on placeholders for that. My voice is going away for some reason. 
It's I can I can hear it leaving my my throat as as we speak. All right, I just need to make sure that Malik and Ethura aren't just left by Bandar. Okay, nope. Everyone, you know what? Okay, I think we just gotta go for it. Need to get further in, otherwise, okay, this is quite the pickle. Okay, I'm less of a pickle. You guys get over there. Where? Okay, one of you needs to stay by that. I want to put. Mm, let's put the skiff in there. And I think anything else we're going to drop at this next one. I don't know where Juhani. Oh, there's Juhani. I think that's Juhani. Yeah, there she is. I will remain strong. Well, everyone attack Juhani except for the infantry. You just go back this way. Let's see. Hopefully, Ethura will win out. The duel of the century. Cat Lady versus Twilight Lady. Oh, here comes Malak. Give him another hit. There's another one. There we go. Good job, Ethura. You didn't die. You beat a party member. Uh, I was going to send our skiffs over there, but that seems like a bad idea with the uh, terrible lasers. So I think we're just going to drop on over here. And... Is that Vandar? That's Vandar. He's... Um... Is he just going to run away? I think he's just going to run away. All right, let's go into the base then, if we know Vandar's not going to be there. Ythura, just go around. Oh, here he goes. Like, yeah, he's just... He's entirely just Yoda right now, so that one there's not much to see right now. Unit destroyed. That was Well, let's just keep going down this way. I'm not going to go for him yet. You're still okay. Okay, that's actually scary. I need to control A and get everyone out of there. Uh, actually, Yathura, if you do that, then we can use our orbital bombardment, and that gets better for us. Right, he's got the Berserk that works a little bit on vehicles. Malak. Okay, we got him. 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 There we go. Beams the face. Classic, classic Sith strategy. Classic Sith strategy. When in doubt, you fighting a force user, beam to the face. Beam to the face is all it takes. I guess we'll get the other infantry around there. And Malik, can you crush that one? Yes, sir. So really, how much more are we going to be able to bring in? 
Okay, you bring that down. Where's Malik? Dark side is strong. Was he going around that way? He is. So I suppose I should just send him in here. And... Oh, oh I guess the, the script itself probably isn't loading. So even once that's down, that's probably why. Because, like, the victory points and stuff don't work either, and all that is handled by the same thing, I believe. Unless we've changed it since I last looked at it. Okay, Yathura, get that one. And you guys are making it slowly around the edge there. I guess I can just put that down. No one commands me. Okay, Yathura, you can make it onto that now. And Malak, you can get that. I think we're making progress. I wonder if they have an inexpugnable yet. Okay, Yathura, it works better if you actually start doing the ability. Just a, just a thought. Oh. Here is the only ground unit that does still need some extra art done that's in the game. We have the, the tank droid. Uh, someone was going to be doing the texture for that, uh, so Philo held up on or held off on the animations. But I don't think that person's going to be uh, going to be doing the, the texture. So we'll have to figure something else out. Yeah, there we go. Well, you may as well take out the tax agency. We secured a build pad. We are and alone now. I think. Oh, there we go. Never mind. I just wasn't able to target where I was targeting. I'm not sure where else they have anything, but. Looks like they're leaving anyways. All right. We took out Juhani and Vandar. We lost our artillery. We lost some assault droids and some Sith advanced troopers. But you've all been real troopers for sticking with me throughout the episodes and the stream. That's going to do it for tonight, though, for both YouTube and Twitch. Uh, next time, I will hopefully have a little bit more of the cleanup done. and We'll see how some of the assets progress as we go through the series, which I hope you are all very much enjoying. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you next time. Bye, everyone.